Tahiru, a welder at Eija, is busy at work welding a metallic mesh cage he had planned to work on the previous day. But the past situation in the country is biting hard on his daily income. I buy around 10, 11, I buy a light, I need to have a machine, I buy a light. I had plans to work on the cage yesterday when there was light, but shortly after it went off. I was hoping for it to return in the next hour, but it never did. I am rushing to complete it now. A few meters away from Tahiru's shop, his colleague Osman is also bearing the brunt of the power outage. I cannot work without electricity. I have been idle almost the entire day. I have apprentices working under me. How do I pay them if there is no work to do? The Ashanti region has in recent days returned to unbearable intermittent power cuts, throwing many businesses and households into a state of dormancy. Like the welders, seamstresses along the al Aji Ata Lane at Eija are not exempted from the power crisis. This embroidery shop on the stretch has their owners idling as they wait eagerly for power to return. Inflation is skyrocketing. At last, if we had light, we would work to get some money to fend for ourselves. The government isn't helping at all. What is annoying is the fact that we have to pay for electricity bills. These apprentices and master are not spared the pressures from their customers as they must meet deadlines for sewing dresses. Anyone in Tino owns me and to two bats now was a because there isn't light, we cannot iron the sewn dresses. My master is always pleading with the customers. While the government claims to be conducting maintenance at the energy sector, these workers are calling for a load management table. They should admit it to do so. They should just give us a schedule to plan our lives. They should tell us to I'll be able to plan my life if given the schedule. I won't waste my money and time to come here and idle about. For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Brightquickle.